everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ayan. So today I'll be giving you updates coming from the Department of Education and some concerns and issues related to Department of Education. At isa sa mga share at pag-uusapan natin ngayon is itong Classroom Observation Tool, RPMS for Proficient Teachers. So kung ikaw ay teacher 1 to 3, ito yung Classroom Observation Tool na gagamitin natin for your RPMS. Of course, it is in time of COVID-19 pandemic. Ayan. But before we are going through with our updates, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, just hit the subscribe button na nasa ilalim for more updates about this video. Ayan. So pag-uusapan natin dito, ano nga, ano nga ba yung mga indicators na i-observe ng ating observer, especially kung tayo ay proficient teacher. So tatandaan po natin na sa ating class on observation for this school year, so napagkasunduan ng Department of Education na magkakaroon lamang ng dalawang classroom observation. So, uh, uh, probably we will start our cl class observation 1 doon sa quarter 3. Yung pangalawa naman natin is quarter 4 naman. Ayan. So, ano-ano uh, nga ba ang mga indicators? So, according din sa ating DepEd na tatlong indicators lamang ang observable. So, ito lang po yung i-check or i- um, i-record or i-observe ng ating uh, observer sa atin during our uh, demonstration teaching. So, sa demonstration teaching, marami naman. So, you can actually have your demo teaching during sa lock session ninyo via face-to-face -face or limited face-to-face -face or lock session via uh, Google uh, Google Meet ayan, or online. Or you can have your video presentation or video lesson. Ayan. So, at dahil dyan, shall we start? Ayan. So, ano-ano nga bang mga indicators? Ayan. So, but before that, we have the level or the rubric uh, level summary. So, ito yung i-grade sa inyo uh, doon sa inyong bawat indicator. So, we have level 3 or score mo is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then, meron din siyang level uh, label from organizing, developing, applying, consolidating, integrating, and the level of description. Ayan. So, kung gusto mo namang kumuha ng soft copy ng ating presentation, you can actually go to my YouTube channel kasi yung Google Drive ng soft copy is ilalagay ko doon sa comment section. Ayan. So, subscribe na rin para uh, more updates about this video. Ayan. So, ayan. So, yung indicator 1 natin na observable during sa classroom observation or your any uh, classroom observation na gagawin mo, we have the indicator 1. Ito yung i-observe. Apply knowledge of content within and across curriculum teaching areas. So, from 3 to 7. Ngayon, yung pinakamaliit na grades or score mo is 3. Ano, kung ibig sabihin, the teacher demonstrate minor content lang siya, errors, either in presenting the lesson or in responding to the learners. At makukuha mo naman yung 7 if and only if the teacher applies accurate, in-depth, and broad knowledge of content and pedagogy that creates a conducive learning environment that enables uh, in-depth in uh, sophisticated understanding of teaching and learning process to meet the individual or group learning needs within a cross-curriculum at teaching areas. Ayan. So, I believe naman magagaling naman lahat ng mga teachers. So, probably makukuha itong uh, 7 na score na ito. Ayan. Next natin na second indicator naman na dapat i-observe sa inyo ng ating observer is itong plan and deliver teaching strategies that are responsive to the spe special education needs of learners in difficult circumstances including geographic isolation, chronic illnesses, displacement due to armed conflict, urban re uh, resettlement or disasters, child abuse, and child labor practices. Ayan. So ito din yung mga uh, indicator na ma-observe sa inyo at meron siyang specific na level dito. Ayan. Next, the last indicator na i-observe sa inyo is itong select, develop, organize, and use appropriate teaching and learning resources including ICT to address the learning goal. So, you will get the 7 points or the 7 if the teacher integrates extensive and multidisciplinary learning resources including ICT which are appropriate and align with the learning uh, goals. Ayan. So, so far, ito yung mga indicators na i-observe sa inyo uh, during the classroom observations. Ayan. So, uh, most of us are actually nagahabol sa deadline uh, because our closing is fast approaching at saka yung iba is hindi pa na-observahan. So, you can approach your observer, either your master teacher, your school head, your um, 
uh, teacher in charge, principal, ayan, na mag observe sa inyo. Ayan, so, uh, congratulations in advance. Thank you so much for our watching. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. And, of course, if you want to get the soft copy of this presentation, just go to the comment section of this video. Nandoon yung uh, link ng ating Google Drive. Thank you so much for watching. God bless everyone.